happy Tuesday. I'm always having a happy Tuesday when I've got these two soldiers on my side. Sue Anna Hello, darling. Darling. and Clem Pedro. <laughs> welcome. Hi. So, of course, welcome to you, to our Tuesday cook-alongs, to our favorite day of the week. Joining us along with, obviously, Chef, Chef Clem is our wonderful Sue Ann, as I told you. <laughs> and today's recipe is going to be absolutely incredible because Woolworths has once again decided to make my life even easier. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thank you. <laughs> How have they done this? They thing? really have made cooking so much easier. So yeah. they've taken some of the quality items, put it in a bag for you already, <laughs> yeah. giving you the recipe, and it's everything you need to make the most amazing dinner tonight. I'll explain yep. more. It's the new in the bag milk kit. Doesn't it look amazing? Super cool. They look yeah. so cool. I mean, I've already been looking at them, and I know which one is my favorite. But you know what the best part about this is? You can just go into Woolworths, see. Pop that over your shoulder, <laughs> and paper out. it, and leave. Yeah. No packet, no plastic, no affecting no, the community. Really. Like, I mean, cool. how wonderful is that? Absolutely. Just ready to go. This one's definitely going to be my favorite. That is your one. That is, is my one. Curry. That's what Jeannie's having mm -hmm. for dinner tonight. But Pinier today, curry. we'll be making the Hake Korma Curry, which is delicious. Nice and light and fresh. Oh, and wow. also takes 25 minutes to make. So no everything time. just gets put in this little, everything that everything. you will need. Well, they, they leave out the olive oil and salt and pepper. Okay. But I mean, essentially, you've got that in your cupboard already. Exactly. So that's fine. Everything else is in the bag. I mean, we've got this in the bag today, then, I guess. <laughs> How absolutely fabulous. <laughs> today, get the ingredients list and a link uh, to the recipe sent directly to your phone. Simply SMS the keyword EAT to 33650. SMS is 1 Rand 50 each, and no free SMSs apply. And remember to keep your device with you in the kitchen while you're cooking along with us, because we are streaming live on YouTube. So if you get stuck along the way, then please do give us a call anytime during the show on 021-430-9881. Now, these aren't in all stores yet. No, it's not. Yeah. So it's in the Western Cape in selected stores right now. So what we thought we'd do is we'd actually try them out for South Africa right now. <laughs> yeah. So when it does yeah. go nationwide, which will be happening very soon, yeah. they know what to expect. So we're just going to be testing this for you. And if you do like it, you can still go to Woolies and get exactly. all the ingredients. Yeah. They just won't be in the sexy little bag. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, for the list of ingredients and all of the details, um, we've got a... Oh, no, we've got a dessert happening as well. Yes! I almost <laughs> forgot. I almost forgot the most important part. Okay, what's right. in our dessert? So it's kind of a tongue twister it's a s'mores waffle ice cream sandwich wow yeah Even wow I said that. wow <laughs> it's big it's huge you have to dislocate your jaws and get your mouth around it i was it. like oh yeah yes. it's hectic yeah. guys but it is yeah. so so delicious and easy to make so what do you you make using the waffles as a small right so everything yeah. you normally have in a small it's like your chocolate your marshmallow and your digestive biscuits inside the batter okay and then you get beautiful vanilla ice cream, you sandwich it like that, <laughs> and you go find a corner, make sure no one sees you, and you just eat like... No, I don't believe in hiding eating. You must just be <laughs> Just proud. do it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to see that today. So for the list and ingredients of all of this fabulosity, simply SMS the keyword CLOVER to 33650 for your delicious s'mores waffles and sms is one round 50 each no free sms's apply and of course you can also touch base with us on our social media platforms and tell us who your favorite celebrity siblings are by tweeting us at afternoon chat using the official hashtag afternoon express or comment on our facebook page who are your favorite celebrity siblings oh i knew you were going to ask me uh, if i said kendall and kylie would people kill no, me no 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 i love I, kendall and kylie i just think you know what they've done as businesswomen is totally. i think it's phenomenal at their no, age I love and them. i adore sure, them don't that. i look like i could also be a jenna perhaps totally yeah <laughs> no you i think the daughter sisters i mean i like them they're, they're great don't you think yeah, <laughs> I love this. Yeah, they're amazing. I, I think so, yeah. Well, speaking about fabulous celebrity uh, siblings, we're going to find out who our hot guest is in just a little while. Create a stir this summer with Nola Mayonnaise and Afternoon Express. Every Thursday, the lovely Lucia Tiane and the lazy Makoti join us in the loft to create a stir and show us how to add a creamy twist to your favorite dishes. When you SMS NOLA to 33650 for the week's recipe, you're also entered into the grand prize draw to win an LG InstaView fridge worth 35,000 Rand. Winning has never tasted so good. 
All right, welcome back. Now, our special celeb guest today is a man of many talents, a man that has snatched the hearts of women all over the country through his bad boy TV roles. It's none other than the charming Stembi Sokoza, who is simply known as SK. Now, besides being an actor and TV presenter, SK started out as a sportsman, excelling in various sports, and he obtained his karate black belt at the age of 12. And although he has pursued, a, you know, a different career path, he still carries that fire and passion with him in whatever he does. Welcome to the show. Yo, it's so good to be here, man. I'm so happy to finally well, have you excited. here. You look good, as always. Thank you. So what was your life like growing up? Because, I mean, we obviously, you're very close to your brother, but you've got lots of other siblings as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean more than anything, I think, uh, like, I, I love the fact that you mentioned karate being such a big um, part of my life. Yeah. Um, uh, the thing about martial arts is that it teaches you so much discipline. And I know a lot yeah. of people when we were young, it was always about, oh, so you know karate, so come here, let's start fighting. Yeah. But for me, it is even more special because it comes from my dad, who's also my my my, my shihan. Your so sensei. For me, karate didn't Wait, end what's the, the dojo. difference between a sensei and a shihan? So shihan, he's um he's like a master now. Oh, wow. So he was sensei back then. Oh, so, but wow. we have to, so you know, we have to stick with the time. He's the PhD of he, he's a sensei. Like, yes, he's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, yeah. Oh, but amazing. yeah, that's my dad and my little brother right there. So yeah, it's 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 honestly like one of the the best things about my life. I think yeah. I owe it a lot of gratitude and just um, my my dad's my hero. Definitely. I mean, we discuss the, the the discipline, I suppose, yeah. that the martial arts does give one. Yeah. But does it really give you that kind of discipline and I don't know, timing, I suppose, in lots of other facets of it, your it, life? It definitely does. Um, you, and you, calmness. It, it teaches you to be patient more than anything. Really? Because I started karate at the age of five, but we couldn't grade into black belts until you're 12 years old because you couldn't get a black belt at like nine or 10 years old. Oh, wow. So you had to wait at least until you were 12 plus because I think in terms of your mindset, is also better. So the fact that, I mean, I got to 10 and I, I could grade for my black belt, but I had to wait. So it, it teaches you a lot of patience. And I yeah. think in the industry that we're in as well, you got to be patient about a lot of things because it's not everything is for you, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. so you grew up in, in a town um, in KwaZulu Natal. Yeah, in Tuzuma. Tuzuma. Yeah. And what was it like there? Amazing. Like, I look at the kids of today and I'm like, you guys have it all. Technology, the electrical cars and all that stuff. I mean, we grew up playing with bricks, going into the forest with my brother. It it, it, it really, I, I always say to people that the hood toughened me up real quick. Yeah. And, I mean, the, most of the characters that I play, I take so much from the guys really? that I grew up around the neighborhood. The only way to survive the hood is that you can't always be friends with the goody goods. You always got to find the bad bads as well because they teach you. And like I said, it toughens you up. So yeah, it's, it was yeah. amazing growing up there. You need friends in high places and friends in low places as True well. That. <laughs> <laughs> True that. True that. But I mean, growing up, it obviously did toughen you up quite yeah. a bit. And obviously, that just groomed you for life because you were good at everything you did. And like I'm... every single sport you excelled in. What were your favorites? Oh, my, my dad could hear me now. Um... <laughs> I think even today, besides just sport, everything that I touch, I always want to give it 100%. I think most of the time in our industry, yeah. that's what we want to do. But I loved cricket more than anything. It's one of those sports where you got to have patience because it takes up sometimes yeah. the whole day. Yeah. But I was a great bowler, great batsman, great fielder. Really? So it was like an all-rounder thing for me. So if it wasn't for, for, for karate aside, I'd pick cricket, yeah. Okay. Definitely. And why didn't you pursue it just out of interest sake? Because you were really good at it. Like, you could have gone the whole hog, hey? Well, uh, I mean, I had an accident when I was 13, um, which kind of set me back a bit with a lot of the sports stuff that I wanted to do. So I had to kind of just sit back a bit. Um, I mean, I have a recurring shoulder injury that comes back oh, really? once in a while. So even if I'm at the gym, it still comes back once in a while. So yeah. just that more than anything, but I guess um, entertainment kind of had the calling, you know what I mean? What, do you yes. remember that moment when you thought, okay, that's it? It was 2010, I was sitting at my place in the lounge and I remember seeing an ad about they were looking for a new presenter for a show. And I was like, here it is. I, you had to just do a video, send it online, and if you were lucky enough to be one of the people that they called, then you were there. And I was one of the 5,000 people that went. I never really got the job, but I did so well that the door opened up for me. Yeah. But it was very tricky because, Jeannie, it's, it's, it's funny how when you get in the industry, you kind of think, oh, okay, cool. Hey, 
All right, so the work is just going to keep coming. Now I've made and it, it everything's good. Like that. But only to find that I had to find out things about agencies and all that little bit of glitz and glam. Yeah. It's not always just amazing. Yeah. Not that because now you've made it on screen, you think you've made it. So it was a quick reality check as I was like, you're not as famous as you think you are. <laughs> you're still going to have to still work a lot. But exactly. um, I'll never forget that moment, yeah. Thank goodness you've got the uh, the martial arts to teach <laughs> To go back to <laughs> it just doesn't work <laughs> Okay, so I wonder if you would help me with something. Sure. I Everybody that I know that does karate has got like the most unbelievable body and I've got no patience. Okay. So would you mind teaching me and taking me through a kata? Yeah. I know the counting. That's okay. all I know. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, take it off. Uh, <laughs> no, nobody's <laughs> complaining in here. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 okay. Rule number one about TV, keep the microphone on. <laughs> okay, do you want me to do that for you? Thank you very much. Deleuze did this as well. For an event I know, or darling, there you go. Cool. Okay, now let's do our cutter. So, um, my favorite cutter, right? So, let's, let's start it properly. So, legs together, fingers in, on the side, you bow first, sign of respect. And open. Oh, it's like ballet. That way. Okay. So you breathe. When you breathe in, you fold the fist. Yeah. So. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is called seipai. So basically, okay. I'll show you the first move. You need to move your left leg back. But as you move it, this hand yeah. goes up and over. And is that when you go itch? Itch. Yes. Knee. Knee. <laughs> She. she cool <laughs> go rook sitch ach ku ju oh okay what okay, am i then teaching this you this clearly you know this one um oh okay karate kid cool. <laughs> <laughs> the most famous one of course you got to know that Did I get it right you got it right you got it right you got it right wonderful nicely done nicely done so the karate kid and i are hanging out in the loft today <laughs> <laughs> and after the break we put sk in the hot seat and taste out his moves in the kitchen we'll be preparing a flavorful hake korma curry oh, now yes. remember you can call us at any time during the show on 0214309881 for all of your culinary questions or if you just want the chance to chat to fabulous SK and ask him some questions. Give us a call too. <laughs> nice. Coloma fresh milk is way better. Made with love by Coloma.
Create a stir this summer with Nola Mayonnaise and Afternoon Express. Every Thursday, the lovely Lucia Mtiane and the lazy Makoti join us in the loft to create a stir and show us how to add a creamy twist to your favorite dishes. When you SMS NOLA to 33650 for the week's recipe, you're also entered into the grand prize draw to win an LG InstaView fridge worth 35,000 Rand. Winning has never tasted so good. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. And if you've just joined us, welcome to the best day of the week ever on Afternoon Express. Because, of course, it is our Tuesday cook-along. And we have the incredibly talented SK on the loft as well, who's just taught me to do, like, the most phenomenal karate kata. And, I mean, how many of those do you need to do? Uh, well, I mean, obviously, it's white, yellow, orange, green, blue, purple, brown, 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 then black. Yeah. So each... I mean, white is about its own four color, uh, four cutters. And then so it once about... you go black, you never go. You black. never, <laughs> you know. So, yeah. So you, I mean, you know, you get first dance, second dance, third dance, but you feel me. <laughs> so uh, we're going to be cooking now, yes. and Woolies have got dinner planned and in the bag with their new meal kits. So the kits have only been launched in the Western Cape for now, but will be made available nationwide very soon. So before they hit the shelves in the rest of the country, we thought that we'd give you a little test run mm. and. Uh, give you our opinion. So the dish we'll be making today is their hake korma curry. That sounds absolutely delicious. How are your cooking skills? Yo, I was just about to say, I love being in the kitchen. I'm just not big on cleaning, but I, I love okay. cooking. Yeah. So this is, okay. yeah, you know. All right, me too. Yeah. Me too, me too. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So I was kind of hoping you were going to say you're not really that great in the kitchen. Because if you, that was you, yeah. this is actually for you then. These yeah. are really great. So what is, so like, yeah. Essentially, it's the products you can buy off shelf already. All right. Will you just put it into like a beautiful bag for you? Attach the recipe, and I like the fact that I'm just gonna break it. Ah. The recipe name, like the chef was actually developed it. His name is Anya. Oh I, wow. Yeah. And who, do, are there chefs we will know? No, it's actually the chefs that work at good guys. I will find it now. Emma Mori, they're right at the bottom. Right there, there, there. The there we go. So, so this is Emma Mori. Emma Mori. Emma Mori. This is for you. Yeah. Hey, Emma, this is for you. So like, it's pretty cool. The steps have been laid out pretty like simply. Mm. Essentially, Willie's wants you to get into the kitchen and cook. Yeah. So this is gonna build your confidence, right? So eventually, you're gonna be able to shop these ingredients without the instructions. You're just gonna know the next time you have to cook a piece of fish. Oh, I remember cooking it yeah. like with, with the meal kit. Yeah. I'm gonna do it on my own right now. Thanks to Emma Mori. There we go, Emma, Emma Mori. <laughs> Emma Mori. <laughs> but it's so helpful because look, they give you the utensils that you would that you need, need yeah. the little tips. I mean, even it's I done. can do this. I mean, you can. Uh, yeah. Well, so, well, wait, we think. I'm going to be doing no, it tonight. No, you can, you can. I'll let you know. So yeah. what happened in the weekend was I went into my local Woolies. Okay. Woolies St. John's, how are you doing? <laughs> and a woman literally walked to the shelf as they just opened. She took every single one of the paneer curries off the fridge, put it in a trolley, and she was like, I'm getting guests tonight. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. And Typical St. Sense. John's. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> is it simple to make as well? It is. Well, that's the thing. So I'm going to put you, like, I'm going to let you do all the heavy work. Oh, oh, for, oh. I was going to say for our team, but it's not a competition. Yeah. Because I know you're very competitive. Yeah. But you're next to another very competitive person. Oh. So I'm not going to start oh. anything. I'm not okay. going to start anything. No, okay. No. Okay. No. No. Yeah. No yeah. Yeah. pressure. Okay. <laughs> Let's unpack the basket. So sure. I've taken the, the hake out. That also came in the bag over there. It comes with the basmati rice. What are we doing? Are we cooking all of them together? Yeah, yeah we're gonna make yeah. one or big family one dish. One. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then it comes with. Like you said, it's not a competition, so you know, we're oh, all man. in this together. There we go. Puma <laughs> <laughs> curry paste, coriander, um, some tomatoes, and some coconut. coconut is this cream or milk? Coconut cream. Coconut cream. Very simple, but again, these are big flavors, and it's all you need to actually make an amazing dish. So let's get the heat on. Mm. I think. What's I mean, even Woolworths gets to make rice to look sexy. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, even there, this is great. You never That's stop learning easy. how to cook rice, by the way. Just no, saying. Never. Just saying. Ever. Never. So they got it in the back for you. I mean, even chefs cheat now and then, and we'll use that as well. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> step one. Okay, so we can eat some olive oil. Here you go. Get those in the pan that's on. Tomatoes, we're going to... Yeah. We're going to quarter them and cook for five minutes. So we're going to quarter. Okay. Do you have some knife skills? Do they teach you, like, how to use weapons as well with... It's not a weapon, it's not a weapon. <laughs> Are you comfortable with a knife? Very. Okay, he cool. doesn't use knives, he uses nunchakas and ninja stars. <laughs> <laughs> and stars, right? You really? Yeah. No, 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 no. Guys, I'm gullible. I'll believe you. Okay, cool. So you can just like half those. It's to say quarter and half, but I think half's pretty cool. cool. Those can go in there. Korma curry paste is great. And curry pastes are amazing because essentially they last forever in your cupboard. <laughs> so you can always have those in your pantry. Oh, look at them. 
I, guys, I think it is a competition. Did you hear them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> While you guys are talking, we're just gonna carry <laughs> on. <laughs> I didn't come here for a haircut. No. 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 I came okay, cool. here for karate lessons and dinner. You all right? <laughs> cool. So while that's happening, I'm gonna add the curry paste. Yeah. Same time, same time. Can I can well, I squeeze in between? Yeah. Like you said, teamwork. Okay, teamwork. Oh, must okay. we throw ours in? And you can. You can. You want to do that, and I'll carry on. I'll do Chopping. I'm really gonna enjoy. But I mean, this is pretty cool, eh? We're all cooking together. We're all cooking. Until I got thrown with a piece of... Okay, yeah, uh, this is a competition, guys. <laughs> this is a competition. I got thrown with some stuff. <laughs> okay, cool, that's cool. Okay. But I mean, Kim, I think these are, are cool even for seasoned chefs because you can build on them, you know? So you, 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 we also shorten time sometimes. Run in, pick up your bag, oh, yeah. and then add things to... Whether it's your curry, if you wanted to add another veg because it's something that you like that will work, it's quite cool. I agree. You've got a base to do that. I agree. Absolutely. You are a good cook. I yes. can see how comfortable you are with that wooden spoon. Yes. Right. So I'm going to drizzle in some more oil to fry up the curry paste. What we're going to do is once that we can start smelling the curry paste like really, yeah. really well, we're going to add that coconut cream. But how are we doing? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, cool. I love the smell of this corn curry. Yes. It's so nice. Oh, this is going to be amazing. And oh. all of these dishes are really healthy as well. Absolutely. Very, very yeah, I'm nice. looking at it now and I'm looking like the rice is the only carbohydrate with this one. Which we is could. the better one of the lot for you if yeah. you are watching out. Yeah, this is really, really awesome. So obviously to get the recipe and details, you know what to do. And after the break, we continue with our <laughs> mouth-watering curry. Now remember, you can call us at any time on 021 430 if you've got any culinary questions or if you want to ask SK, our new resident chef. You know this. <laughs> any questions. And you can also engage with us on social media and tell us who your favorite celebrity siblings are. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag yeah. Afternoon Express. We'll be right back. Mm. This looks amazing. This coming Thursday on Winner Home, the competition gets cooking as the design duos start creating the heart of their home with some of the most ambitious collaborations yet. Will their designs be a recipe for success or will it all go up in flames? Well, we all about pushing boundaries, honey. The highlights of the space is going to be this unit here. Jeez, oh, this is insane. That is wild. Catch the design drama on Winner Home Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. on SABC3 with a repeat on Saturday at 3 p.m. the stage is yours. We're now home, proudly brought to you by Capitec and Private Property, with Samsung products designed for your connected lifestyle. Grand prize luxury penthouse apartment by Bowen Properties.
Moving out? Need more room? Scaling down? Private property is a great place to start your search. With thousands of new properties from South Africa's top real estate agents, banks, developers and homeowners. It's the easiest way to find your next home. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Search privateproperty.co.za Enter the winner home competition on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance to win a brand new, fully decorated apartment at Parterflay Lifestyle Estate developed by Baldwin Properties worth over 3 million rand. to Afternoon Express for our fabulous Tuesday cook along with our amazing, <laughs> talented SK, who seems super, super talented at more than just one thing because yeah. this dish smells amazing. Yeah. I mean, wow. Okay, the fish has just gone fish in. fish has just gone in. Okay, this is really, really well, good. I, I just want to ask quickly, do Kiptonians eat anything else except you guys love fish? <laughs> Kiptonians, we don't eat um, meat on Mondays, okay. but so fish is a good one. But otherwise, yeah, we, we eat everything. Right. I've had some of the uh, best seafood in Joburg, by the yeah, way. 100%. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Just, just, just yeah, yeah, This yeah, yeah, is, guys, I, wish, I, I hope everybody, I wish everybody at home could actually smell this yeah. because it's unbelievable. Yeah. So to get the list of ingredients and the recipe, simply SMS EAT to 33650. And you can call us anytime during the show on 021-4309-881. And uh, speaking of which, we do have the caller on the line, or oh, a yes. caller on the line. Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm <laughs> Wonderful I'm to like hear your voice. Play. Oh, my way. Like, oh, my. you my crush. Like, oh, my God. I've been watching you on TV. I'm just thinking right now. You are so damn cute. Like, I don't have impression for you. Oh, you're making me blush on national television. <laughs> Come on, Niri. How are you? How are you? She's okay. speechless. She can oh, see. no, I think we might we have lost, lost her. her. Ah. Oh, what a pity. But, I mean, well, because you... you can see it. Thank you for the love, the support. <laughs> <laughs> mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> so I heard that you do get, like, a, like a lot of love from your fans. Yeah, no. Sometimes a lot of love. Sometimes a little bit too much. Tell um, me about it. So um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, <laughs> I was at a club with my friends. The crazy thing is, I mean, I, I don't, you know, believe in the whole we need to have bodyguards around. I'm just kind of like, you know, if you're free, people kind of just But when you've got a black belt in karate, you don't and need a bodyguard. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, and I'm a word like that. But I literally had a girl who in the club got so excited and she jumped and locked her legs. Like, oh. I couldn't even, I tried. And I, but now here, the crazy thing is my friends are all just having a great time just watching the whole thing happen. But look, I understood where she was. She was a little bit intoxicated, but it was just insane. Like, yeah. and I couldn't believe how strong her legs were. Babe. I was like, damn, girl! <laughs> <laughs> she obviously oh squats. My gosh. Yeah, no, she does. She does a lot of that, definitely. Oh wow! But um, what do you do in that situation? Like, I get some crazy fans as well, but I mean, no, nobody's ever locked their legs around me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, you know, for not me, once I, I didn't end up in jail. I think, I think more than anything, it, it, it was understanding where we were. We in a club, and I understand yeah. that you know, obviously, she's had a little bit too much to drink, and yeah. it's, it's just excitement. I was actually. Oh, I, it felt good. It was bad, but it kind of felt good. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I don't know if that you, makes sense. You just felt yeah. appreciated. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like a little yeah. bit too much appreciation, <laughs> but. Now, I mean, you've always like kind of played like bad boys, but what is your ca character in Baby Mama's life? Oh man, that for me was such an, an amazing switch from what I do on, on a daily because yeah. he's a sweetheart. He, it, it's just what I learned from it is that sometimes as men we take so long to grow up really? that by the time, yeah, because to me, to, to me, thing about it is that. He's at the he's at the point in his life where he wants to have his he wants to ha he wants to have his baby mama around. He doesn't just want to do the co-parenting thing anymore. Yeah. So he wants to fall in love again, marry her. And, but it's it's we're too late. Sometimes we take so long. That by yeah. the time that we do grow up, it was a little bit too late. So for Dumi, it was kind of that situation of 
you kind of had it, but now Lost she's found it. somebody else. But it was it, it was really an eye opener for me. I love playing the character to me on Baby Mama. So yeah, people should go out and check it out. So um, do you think that will change your own approach to relationships? No, no, no. It it, 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 it has already. Okay, it, that's it, good to it hear. It totally has. I went back home and I said, you know what? I know I haven't been doing right by you. <laughs> so thanks to the movie, I learned a couple of <laughs> oh, things. So yeah, yeah, no, no, definitely. Well, that's good to know. Definitely. All right, we've got another caller on the line. Ayanda, welcome to the show. What's that's your question? Good afternoon, how are you doing? Good. Uh, lovely show, by the way. Thank you so much. What's your question or comment? Who would you like to chat to? Yes, I'd like to speak to SK. I'd like to ask him a question since he's a television personality. I'd like to know that. Um, which one does he prefer, um, uh, TV presenting or acting? If I had to pick between the two? Yeah. <laughs> um... TV presenting for me is, I'm, I'm me, so I don't get, to, you know, it's just me with a little bit of, you know, nyana nyana. Whereas with acting, I kind of get to break away from the person that I am and get to explore being a different person. So it's kind of hard to say, but I guess I'd pick acting because I get to be a different person every day. Whereas in, in presenting, if I'm right, you know, yeah, it's just you with, with a little bit of, you know what I mean, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for your call, Thanks, Leander. Yanda. Okay, so we've been chatting that we forgot to cook. No, this is, this is, this is, no, 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 but this I, I, is he's on the ball. He's, he's, he's on the ball. He's on the ball. What have you done here, So what Tim? I was going to say, like, obviously, I spoke about earlier that these kits are going to get you more confident in the kitchen. You don't need any of that. You're already confident enough. You got that. So <laughs> the kind of the aim is that eventually you walk in and one day you'll be able to take the fish if you modify it a little more, like you said, Sam. Yeah, but also, you know, you're asking if we eat a lot of fish, and we do, but yeah. if you're watching this going, but I don't eat fish, yes, substitute it. You know, chicken fries, yeah. get them in a char grill pan, get color, pop those in. So perfect with chicken, um, especially a korma. But I mean, if beef's your, your vibe, you can do that we as well. So if it just thing. says okay. hake, Rework make your protein your own, to yeah. suits and make right. it your own. Like we did with our rice. I made yeah. our own little spiced rice, I'm even though we didn't get that, made it our own. Yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. Yeah. I can't believe how easy I'm that is. Glad was. I came here hungry. Yeah. 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 Dinner is literally, literally. in the bag. Yes. And these meal kits are an amazing way to get dinner on the table in record time. So I can't wait to try the rest of the Woolies meal kits. If you want the recipe and ingredients list uh, to today's simple dish, all you need to do is SMS EAT to 33650. More deliciousness coming up after the break as we make, wait for it, mm -hmm. <laughs> super yummy s'mores waffle ice cream sandwich. Uh, but no, he's a six-pack guy. He's not going to be good. Oh, I can afford Come on, bring it on, bring it on. Okay, I'll, I'll make them bring food. I'll make them food. That's coming up after the break. <laughs>
Paloma fresh milk is way better. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Great time to be here with us because things are about to get so sweet. There is no denying that today's s'mores waffle ice cream sandwich is a dessert lover's dream. Made with clover fresh milk, this crowd pleaser will definitely keep your guests coming back for more. Yet now, to get your hands on the steak and recipe, SMS the keyword clover to 33650. SMS is a one round 50 each free. SMSs do not apply. Please get this in my mouth immediately. Okay, it's, a, it's amazing, Woo! it's super easy. In here we've got some flour, some baking powder. Okay. To it. Let me get your whisk. I'm gonna actually ask you to help yeah. me with this one. Is your I whisk? love whisking, whiskey, whisk, whisk cool. all, all of it. Eggs. <laughs> so, we, so what we're making right now is a plain waffle okay. batter. Okay, but nothing plain about this. I think, let me add you some, give you some milk before you start whisking yeah. even more. Okay. Pop it to the side. We're gonna try and make a waffle batter, which is normally very lumpy, nice and thick. You're not too concerned about any lumps in there. It's actually fine, okay. it's gonna help our batter. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Another thing is you can make this batter, leave it in your fridge or freezer. I would say keep it in your freezer, you could do that no, for I think months. I need more. For months, for months, for months. Really? Yeah, it's so okay. easy. I like it. Cool. That's done. Take a little bit of butter, get it melted. Okay. That goes in. That's gonna give our waffles like a nice little shine and sheen to it. Yeah, I love butter in everything. I mean it's everything. So nice. Everything. So we're talking about this being a s'mores waffle, right? Okay. That's that's the texture you're looking for. Really? Look at you, Gee. No, I've still got to get it right. No, you've got I'm the stance. I'm a stance. perfectionist. You've got the stance, you've got like the, yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Always love it, did love a good mixer. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready for is the rest. Is this it? No, no look no, how no. good that is. That's it, perfect. Okay, so, oh no, what are you doing? Mini yes. marshmallows, it's a small, right? Mini marshmallows. Ooh, all of them. Okay. I mean, have we met? <laughs> oh, well, that's gonna melt in there and give you the, yes. oh, yes, Clem. Okay, then, with the, like, the, the biscuit element, that's going in there as well. So you're gonna get different levels of crunch now, right? You with me? We, are we still together? Are we doing this? I mean, I, I love that we work together. If we live together, I mean... Your problems. <laughs> okay, cool. So what I've done is I've kept some of the batter aside. Just to, this is actually a batter that I made yesterday. And it, like, it's just okay, an example so of how perfect it is and it stays so well in the fridge. You could freeze that just like that, have it in the freezer, ready to go anytime. Cool. Amazing. So, waffle iron, let's do this together. I like your batter be better, actually. Thank you. It's a level of perfectionism right there. Let me get another big I'm spoon, because I wasn't doing a small one, but let's go big. Yeah. Ready? We're gonna make the full one, let's do it. In the, in the center. <laughs> Good I was about job. to say, if you don't want to mess, never overfill the waffle yeah, iron. But, it but then you mess. just hoy it, it you hoy it on the it. side. There we go. You can give it a close. Is, and will it just level itself? It will. A lot of people end up spreading the batter all over the waffle iron, but Is don't do that because the batter is actually going to expand itself. How can I make one waffle, Jeannie? I, I want this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can borrow it anytime you want. That is so cool. Thank cool. you. There we go. That's in. Cool, you can shut them down, really? let, them, let them do their thing. Then, what happens is you get these beautiful, what you doing? You, no, oh, leave it, leave it, it's doing oh. its thing. Right, then. Okay. Don't need our clover milk anymore, there we go. You can end up with a waffle. I've broken okay. them in the quarters, because that makes one big round. Then what you do is you take your chocolate, oh. which we've got, that's the chocolate element of our s'mores. And you kind of dunk them in there, just get it all over, get it all over, make sure you get in the grooves, then it looks like this. Okay. And then you set it in the freezer. The worst thing is a soggy waffle. Your ice cream seeps through, everything just falls apart. Yeah. With the chocolate on there and it's frozen, it's not gonna be soggy at all. Okay, but so then how it, does it get warm again? Do you want it to get warm? It's a oh, frozen you sandwich. To, oh, it's a frozen sandwich. You know of course, what, Jeannie, it's actually that's a good idea. You can pop this in the <laughs> microwave for 10 seconds. And make it warm and then have Make it warm and then you just kind of grab your ice cream, put it on there, Ooh. take your other part, squish it down. Please, sir, I want small. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so remember earlier I said this quite difficult to unhinge your jaws? I yeah. do think you're opening the <laughs> Yeah, I do. Do you think I can, I can tell you, you now try? I can do it? Do you want to try? Yeah, should okay. I? And I like to serve it with a glass of milk on the side, by the way. Just so like, you know, it's quite rich. Oh my goodness, you're going to really do it. It was the biggest, most elegant part I've ever taken. Ever, <laughs> ever. I mean, how amazing is this? No, this is amazing. What, something's happening here. That's the waffle just doing its thing. So obviously, oh, as, you make so the, as you make the sandwiches, I'm gonna have this one. Okay, I'm gonna have the one that comes out of here. Absolutely. Oh. You can take this just like this, put it in a, like a, a bag, pop it in the freezer. 
You want me to do it? <laughs> what a treat. So remember to SMS the keyword Clover to double three six five zero to get this recipe sent directly to your phone. Here's a recap of the steps in case you missed it. Okay, can I have this one? Made with love by Clover. Mmm, that was delicious. Now stay right there because after the break we get to taste all of this delicious food that we've been preparing alongside our amazing chefs, Clem, and of course Sue Ann Allen. And we've got our amazing special guest, SK, and he's going to be dining with us. Clover fresh milk is way better. Made with love by Clover. Every Thursday evening at 7.30, Winner Home gives you the chance to be a weekly winner in our live Open the Door giveaway, where you get three chances to win big. Enter online now at winnerhome.tv and you automatically get entered into the grand prize competition where you could win a fully decorated apartment at the Part of Play Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, valued at over 3 million rand. The lucky winner will also get to choose which of the apartments beautifully decorated by our three competing duos they want to call home. Do you prefer the glamorous design aesthetic of Team r &K? Would you choose the Afrolicious style of Team Contrast Control? Does the permaculture of the perma peeps speak your design language? Best of all, it doesn't matter which apartment you choose because all three have a spectacular view of the golf course and the mountains. Winner Home, Thursdays at 7.30pm on SABC3 with a repeat on Saturday at 3pm. The stage is yours. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, SofaCompany.com strives to challenge the conservative furniture industry. They believe everybody should be able to afford good furniture design and get an abundance of design for their money. SofaCompany.com specializes in simplistic, chic designs that make sure that you get the best value for your money. Thanks to SofaCompany.com, the Afternoon Express loft is looking more sophisticated than ever, and you can shop with confidence as they offer a 14-day money-back 
money-back guarantee, extra delivery, as long as the furniture is returned in pristine condition, obviously. If you would like to uh, have some of their original pieces in your home, make sure you head to their online shop, sofacompany.com, right now. Danish design delivered straight to you. Now, from mm. furniture to fabulous foods, <laughs> this is looking mm. absolutely incredible. Mm. I cannot believe how easy it was to, to prepare. Thank you so much to our amazing chefs. But actually, we know we just did it. I know, I know. Um, SK, I want to know... Yes. What, like, you, were, you actually did very well in the kitchen. So, mm. I mean, you know, you know your way around a, a scuttle and a dish yeah. and a pan. So Thanks what is my your... Dad. So oh, really? <laughs> did your dad my dad teach you? Really? really? Yeah. yeah. So when I was in grade eight, grade nine, um, I don't know, I don't even know what came over me. And I was just like, I really know how to actually make a meal. Like, you know, I know how to cook. Little did I know. So my mom and dad worked Monday to Saturday. So between grade nine and matric, I cooked at home. Monday to Saturday, the only time my parents cooked was on Sunday. So, so I got to a point where I family. really, yeah. Oh. So even in my house now, I cook mostly, most of the time. I actually love being in the kitchen. Yeah. I like cleaning, like I said, and you and I vibe yeah. with that, but I'll cook every day. But a professional chef never does their own dishes. Oh, so, really? so you're excused, don't you? Like Could I dishes. use that? Do you? Yeah. What? You guys can come to me I, anytime because I, really I don't like dishes. dishes. I cannot. <laughs> really? I want to clean it up so I can get back in the next time. So I clean yeah. it quickly because then I know the next time I feel like hitting the kitchen if it's 10 minutes later, yeah. you've got a beautiful clean You service. know, I clean as I go. <laughs> yeah, so that that's how I, yeah. I also don't like a dish. dirt. Like, as I'm cooking, yeah. you wipe everything up. Exactly. Yeah, I don't like mess. Yeah, I don't. Um, what are your favorite go-to dishes? Like, what do you make when you're at home? Yo, I know it takes forever, but mohodu for me is on a date. What is yeah. mohodu? We've never made Intestines. that. Intestines. We have. We have. So many times. Mohodi. Intestines, a tribe. Yes, we've it made is. that, but he, yeah. he said it differently. Yeah, mohodu. Okay, well, Yeah, tribe. Different. You're right, yeah. You just said it differently. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to, like, trick you there, you know, to see. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... Uh, pasta's my favorite. I mean, okay. it's, and I also feel like it's always quick and easy. Like, you know, sometimes you want the meals that you can just quickly just... Yeah. ...and make up, but... I want to have some yeah, of that. Yeah, there's still a dish. Yeah, there's really a dish. No, really, well, I like what you said, though, up. because I think it's important that not just, like, every man, everybody should know how to cook. I mean, it's kind of, like, empowering. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Plus, I, I think at the same time, I kind of knew that soon I'd be, like, moving out of home, moving to tertiary, and the one thing, you don't want to be living off noodles and all these kind of... No. You want to be able to cook your like, own proper meal. Exactly. I think there's something to be said about, uh, like, self-care yeah. and caring about the people that you live with. Yeah. When you actually take time to prepare a meal yeah. for yourself and for the people around you, yes. I think it shows, like, you, it's you loving yourself exactly. and it's you loving and appreciating the people around you. Most deaf. So, Claire, oh. Best so to good. start cooking more for us. Yeah. I, said, oh, really? <laughs> I thought you were gonna actually say like you're gonna jump in and you're gonna start cooking. I mean, I slave behind the stove for you every day, <laughs> and this is the appreciation I get. <laughs> So speaking about appreciation and yes. love, I mean, so you're obviously very close to your family. We've heard how much you love your dad, but you and your brother also have a very special yeah, bond, hey? Yeah, um, yes, my brother, if, if we've been through it all. I mean, I, 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 I love my mom and my dad for making us just be a year apart. I know yeah. it wasn't planned, probably, yeah. but he's my best friend. He knows it. I know everything about him. He knows everything about me. Um, I, I even remember situations when we were kids where we, uh, we played and the sewage pipes, they were just they were just brand new, trying to build them. And my brother and I came through like a, a, a life-threatening moment because we couldn't breathe at some point. And we had to literally work it out as brothers, like, are we moving back, are we going forward? But, and that's just how we've been in life. Like, we've yeah. always been together. Like, any, yeah. any, and, and the fact that we own an hour on TV together as mm. brothers, for me, is just amazing. amazing. To be able to have him in the same industry as well and yeah. just... It's beautiful, man. Like, I, I couldn't ask for a better best friend in life. But, so you're, you're a year apart. I'm, like, 11 months, I think, older than my brother. Yeah. But we're almost like twins. Yeah, you know they that's say how I, I know, I know. But weren't you in a car accident once, and then your brother was, like, the first person on the scene? Very first or, person to come like, through. that's crazy. So um, I called him in the morning. Uh, a lady crashed into me, and I didn't, nobody got injured or anything. But uh, immediately, I tweeted about it, and it was actually before I even called him. And as soon as I called him, it was like, just send me the location where you are. 
and he actually didn't go to work on that day. Well, the so. fact that you tweeted about it meant you were okay. That was fine, right? I was like, I can't believe I want to do a selfie in front of my car. But honestly, uh, yeah, and, and it's just exactly that. He dropped it. Uh, the same with me. He dropped everything for me, yeah, and amazing. I would drop everything for him. What a so. special relationship. Bless. Uh, we're going to take a call quickly. Uh, we've got Bridget on the line from Durban. Oh, Bridget, my hometown. Hi, Bridge. Hello. Hello. Hello, Bridget. No, Bridget. No, Bridget. Hello, Bridget. Can you hear us? Ah, oh, mm. no. We must have lost Bridget. Okay, Bridget. We'll give you a call back, maybe. Mm. Okay. Oh. Have you guys tasted this already? I'm We've been snacking to. on the waffle. Well, I'm snacking yeah. the waffle. <laughs> I, <still laughs> I know. Put it there. I know. I've got a question. So, if your daughter wanted to be Both an actress, what would you say? Would you motivate her? I definitely would. So, you got um, a lot of love for the industry? A lot of, a, a lot of love and respect for mm. it. Um, you know, I, I know, I know most of the time people come into the industry for different reasons. Some of us want to just be famous, some of us just want to be seen on TV. And then I feel like there's genuinely talented people who like, literally, I'm passionate about what I do. Mm. It's such a beautiful thing to sit at home and be able to watch a character come to life. Mm. Because it's very different when you shoot it, like into the camera. It's, it's, it's something else when you actually see it all come together. I mean, it takes 12 hours to be on set to shoot. But to see it finally coming in a, as an episode or as a movie, for me, I, w I know I would definitely. Mm -hmm. My daughter, I asked her for her birthday, it was her birthday on Sunday. And I said, what do you want for a present? She wanted a guitar. I didn't even know my daughter was interested in music. Wow. So the fact that it's already started, mm -hmm. I was like, besides the guitar, I'm going to get you lessons to yeah. actually know how to play it properly because yeah. I wish I could have known how to play an instrument exactly. myself, but I never got the opportunity. So at least what I couldn't get, I can give it to her. How old is she? She's seven now. Amazing. So, so, yeah, seven's also quite an interesting age. I mean, I don't know if it's a lucky number. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 so actually my lucky number. So, seven and 13 are my lucky numbers. Um, but I've got, uh, you know, so many godchildren. I'm basically Elton John. And <laughs> it's amazing that when you see them grow up, seven is such a good age. They're yeah. little adults at yeah. seven. They're no, so it's, super it's, sharp and they know what's going on. And I think more than anything, it's. it's um, I've been with her, I've, like, I've seen her since she was a baby, since before she was even born. And it's the love, like, and it, it's so there's unconditional love in the world yeah. is your love that you have for your kids. Yeah. That, that you can't, you'll never take it away, nobody can ever take it away from yeah. you. So it's beautiful to see, like, and, and, and I remember I looked at her the other day and I was like, seven already? Mm. Yeah. Dude, time just, quickly. time flies. And what kind of a dad are you? I, I like to think I'm, I'm a really fun dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Um, I know I was so lucky that the house that I bought, uh, the kids across the road are exactly the same age as my girls, four and seven. Yeah. So they've got best friends already. And yeah. I know I'd, I usually take them off, all four of them, because, and then someone's like, how do you handle all four? But I'm like, but you realize that when you take them all out, they're a pair. It's two yeah. for them, two. Yeah. And I get to do my own thing, yeah. and just sit and just, yeah, you know, just observe and actually yeah. watch. So. I, I, I like to think I'm a fun dad. I guess we'll have to ask them to know that we should. Uh, I think you must be an amazing dad. <laughs> so we've got Bridget back on the line. Yeah. Hi, Bridget. Are you back? Are you on the line? Yes, I'm on the line. Oh, hey, hello, Bridget. Bridget from Durban. <laughs> I gather you want to ask a question to SK. Hey. Yes, I just want to say how. Um, I'm going to say how. I'm going to say how. I'm going to say how. What did you say? You're going to react like that. You're going to have to try and say that. No, so I was saying to her, she wasn't be scared to speak in Zulu, so we can skin her nicely about you guys. You never know. Say what I'm saying. Say what I'm saying. Unjan says. Okay, I'm going to call me. 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 Because of the color of their skin, their background, their religion. People learn to hate. And if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. And I just want to say, you've taught yourself to love me, and I love you for that. So thank you so much. Ne? Wow. wow. You are a star. You really, really <laughs> are a star. You know, like, I think to be able to be a person who is conscious and aware and loving and giving and kind, yeah. you've got to do a lot of internal work. Yeah. What in your life, and I suppose it's probably your, your karate, yeah. but has kind of grounded you so that you've been able to go through this um, and trying to be your best person? Farah Fortune, um, uh, a publicist in Joburg, made me read The Secret. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I loved about it and that I took away from is the laws of attraction. And as, as much as it's, it, 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 it's not something that we can all believe in or, or, or live by, but I believe that 
whatever you attract to yourself. And for me, it's I'm always trying to attract the goodness in out of everything yeah. I do and out of people. And it's so far so good. So yeah, yeah just a shout out to the secret because. The laws of attraction are so fast. But can I tell you, I mean, you guys would be able to agree with me that it totally works. Like, we often have these, you know, we often have celebrities here on a Tuesday. Yeah. We've never had a conversation yeah. like this. No, it's I, been so, your energy is amazing. Fun. Well, now we know, ladies and gentlemen, that, you know, <laughs> before me, there was many. <laughs> but after me... <laughs> but I'm actually saying, like, the way you approached all of us is almost... Yeah. Like it's, not, it's not just about seeing on TV. It's almost a, it's very familiar. Yeah. Yeah. No, you said when you saw you like I know we've met before. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know you were saying. It's amazing and it's very rare actually. It's like, like that, that genuine. Like are you, it's just that pure genuine element of you. I think. Yeah. Salute, mm. salute. Can we You're keep magic me? guy. Can I get yeah, keep me. Can I get my money? Yes, 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 yes. No, no, I'm staying in Cape Town, guys. Thank you. Joe, we'll see you in another turn. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers. Hello, Ooh, Express. Yeah. Yeah. One of you. Cheers. Yeah. No, you've been absolute magic on the show today. I've got it. If you cheers and don't sip, then it's bad. I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Did you try the food? Okay. I'm in it. I'm out yeah. here. No, no, this it's very is good. outstanding. It's divine. You are amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so, much. so much for Thank being you for on the show me. today. You've totally made it. Thank you for feeding so, me. So, I mean, Aww. you're part Dessert of the show, my darling. Family, darling. Family, Love you. Good Can I have this in a scuff tin for late? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this and of course, is so thank good. you so good. much for joining us. And join us again tomorrow as we chat to the author, Jeremy Daniels. That's going to be fun. I really hope you make this at home. Let us know yeah. how you feel about it because it was delicious. Mm -hmm. Until tomorrow, we love you. Good night. I'm about to go for Mwah. seconds. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs>